Not a bad view to wake up to. in here like you're going down the freeway and it just sounded like fucking a toolbox falling down the stairs like <laughs> try to be on the phone you can't hear anything Getting out early to Colby's spot to do some light maintenance around the compound. He got some new uh, mats from the Nitro Circus old setup, so we don't have to worry about it getting all ruddy before the takeoff. Dude, it was pretty squirrely the other day. When it was like pretty ruddy, like you're like hitting like bumps into it, like uh, jumping in. It's like hitting a curb. Yeah. I was like catching air and then like going into it. Van and we'll do like a whole fucking runway. Could do maybe 12. You got enough. We have so many of them. Yeah, we got enough. Well. There's a lot riding on that size 13 right Dude, there. Straight up, man. With the sprained ankle. What's up, dude? <laughs> the flag looks great, Colby. <laughs> Drew <laughs> 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 had this little like electric 50 and I decided to go take that for a quick spin. I run a two because three is too snappy. This is back to the Oh, that's kind of good. Holy shit, it is a little snappy. And uh, that was, in hindsight, not the best idea. I was feeling pretty frisky and just went for it right away. I haven't had my hat on backwards since I turned 23 and I decided it was time to just move it forward. I'm about to kid again. <laughs> Dude, that thing sucks! Ow! Holy cartwheel! right here. <laughs> I just tucked it. <laughs> Time to put my hat back forwards. <laughs> I fully went over the bars like bike tackled me like not down for the e-bike wave? No. No more e-bike wave for that. That ends my, my ribs career right there dude. Messed my elbows all up and like I think there's a decent chance I might have dislocated a rib so I mean I'll have to go get that checked out. trying to hit quarter pipe as much as I possibly can, just keep doing it over and over again and get used to that feeling and start getting used to like, if you get a weird pool, knowing what to do to save it. So I just think doing it over and over again is the best thing to be doing. It's super windy out there and it's super hot because it's in the middle of the desert. So, riding at night is uh, going to be quite the game changer. Hey, thank you to Thomas Jefferson for inventing lights. That was Edison. Benjamin. <laughs> I was let the record show that was Thanks Thomas Edison. Guys, man. <laughs> hey, they don't teach that shit in high school. Or do they? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
o'clock at night. We're still ripping. God hates me! <laughs> what a soundtrack. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> the corny. Not a bad view to wake up to. Here we go. A roller, burn. Ooh, clean. I'm gonna fucking go fix that lift though. It got chunked out. <laughs> the, the mini bike track is a hit. Yeah. See, I maintain the tracks mid moto, not like AMA. Some say it's a little bit dangerous, but I think it's just really good craftsmanship. What's up, man? You're killing it, dude. Jumping all the jumps, downsiding them. You threw a whip off this one. Contact me at Raw Riding Class. At Gmail. <laughs> Holding your legs up in the middle of the quarter is probably the hardest part. Like after a few reps, like your legs just turn to jello because you're geeing out so hard with that tiny transition. And honestly, that quarter pipe's kind of small for like a full size motorcycle. The one next to it that Colby rides is more of like a proper dirt bike quarter pipe. <laughs> completely jello and I have no ACL and no MCL in my left knee so it starts just kind of like dislocating and like popping around. I think it was worth it. We made some pretty big strides, started going a lot higher than I've been going, kind of found the five feet that I was looking for. So stoked to get back out there again soon and just kind of keep making that progress.